Today, I'm gonna to show you how to trigger videos, images, and other visual elements inside of your live stream using any MIDI device or an Elgato Stream Deck. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. VisiBox is an audiovisual performance environment which lets you control videos, images, cameras, and audio files as part of an in-person or live streaming performance. OBS is free, open source software that has become the de facto standard for professional live streaming on YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, and Facebook. There are a few other distributions built on OBS, including Streamlabs Desktop and Reddit's RPAN Studio, but they all have a similar interface, so you should be able to follow along with my demo in just about any of them. Okay, let's get started. First off, this is VisiBox. Uh, VisiBox has two windows that are sort of the main interface of VisiBox. This is what we call the controller window, and this is what we call the output window. Uh, the output window shows the videos or the images, uh, and, um, when things are stopped, when the video is stopped, it's not a very interesting window. If you're using VisiBox on stage, you'll probably have your laptop connected to a video projector. The audience sees the output on the projection screen and you, the performer, see the controller window. But you can also use VisiBox along with OBS. In the same way, the output will be available as a source in OBS, which you can show picture in picture or even more fun, we can use it as a background with a green screen. So let's switch over to OBS and we'll get the settings for our project. If we go under preferences, we can see the video size here. Uh, we can see that the canvas resolution is 1280 by 720 with an aspect ratio of 16 by nine and our output resolution as well uh, what's going out in our stream is 1280 by 720 with an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. Uh, so now what we need to do is we need to go into VisiBox, switch back over to VisiBox, and what we want to do is we want to set the size of our output window to exactly that same size. So if we go under the window menu here, we can choose output window resize, and it was this 1280 by 720. So if we select that, you can see at the bottom of the window, it says 1280 by 720. Anytime you resize the window in VisiBox, it will, it will show the size. Uh, so you can get it to exactly a specific size. You could also constrain to an aspect ratio uh, if you didn't need to be the, the exact size or you didn't know what size your project was gonna be. Uh, you could just leave it at 16 by nine. And then as you're, you're resizing, the window will just stay to that, that aspect ratio. But I'm gonna turn that off and I'm gonna, as I said, switch it to 1280 by 720. So now we've got the window, it's the right size here. I'm just gonna leave it playing for a moment back over here. Now we're in OBS and what we wanna do is we wanna capture a window. So we select window capture, we can name it whatever we want here, uh, but we wanna capture the window called VisiBox. There are two VisiBox windows. One is uh, has the name of our project and the other is just called VisiBox, which is the output window. And here you can see, now we've got the VisiBox content showing up here. It's sized just the right size for our, uh, uh, for our OBS project. Uh, and it's working, it's pretty, pretty great. You could show it uh, picture in picture if you wanted, if you, you know, just wanted to show a little piece here, then you could probably resize the VisiBox window even smaller. Uh, but as it is, what we're going to do is we're going to use it as a, as a background. There's only one problem though, and you can see the problem when I stop the video here. Uh, and you can see there's the controller bar at the top of the window. Uh, if you ever have this problem when you're using VisiBox in this content, this is how you solve that problem. Uh, if you right click on that window or under the window menu, uncheck show output window controls. And doing that will turn off those window controls. 
And now you get a nice clean window that will look great in OBS. All right, let's get a little more fancy here. I want to capture the video element. I have a whole bunch of cameras connected to the computer right now, and one of them happens to be this camera that I'm talking to right now, which means that I'm up here and down here, up here and down here, both at the same time. Whoa! I'll delete one of me. Um, what we want to do now, once we've got the video coming into OBS, is we want to add a filter, and we want to add the chroma key filter, which defaults to green, which happens to be my background. So now we have a nice, clean element here. And here I am. <laughs> so here I am now uh, with the green screen and uh, the video elements showing behind me. I should grab my guitar and play, play some songs because it's kind of nice. You can, of course, control uh, VisiBox, as I mentioned, with MIDI devices while it's in the background, uh, or an Elgato Stream Deck like this here, um, and you get the nice little preview of the clips uh, on the buttons here, so you know uh, what you're gonna get before you press the button, which is a good thing to have in live performance. You could also use a uh, MIDI foot pedal, like this soft step that I've got here, so you can control uh, the visuals with your feet. Let's go back into VisiBox for a moment here and I'm going to show you how easy it is to add some more uh, images or uh, video elements to our project. Um, if we add a new song here, uh, it'll get an automatic name uh, and we can find some footage that we like. Let's see. Uh, I've got these cool psychedelic... Well, that one's neat. But these psychedelic paint patterns that I can bring in. Just drag, grab a bunch of them and drag them in like that. Maybe I want to add a uh, another image here. Let's see, my, let's see my preview of the image. That's kind of nice. And one of the things that you'll notice about VisiBox is that it does a good job of cropping things to the right size to make sure that it's edge to edge so we don't end up with a letterboxed, uh, even though this uh, image is, is big like that, uh, or our videos or whatever size that they are, they'll automatically get cropped to the right size. There's a bunch of different options in, in VisiBox. I've got other videos that explain how that works. So now back over in OBS, we've got our new paint splatter clips here in our still image, and we can create a whole show with just a few uh, short video clips that will loop and they automatically show edge to edge and uh, makes it really quick to get up and running um, with VisiBox and OBS. We've got more videos that show you how to get more in depth with VisiBox, walk through the whole menu system and explain the, all the concepts and, and uh, how everything works. Uh, you should subscribe, you should like, uh, hit the bell icon and we will uh, let you know when uh, new video content comes out and keep you updated with VisiBox and performance visuals in general. See you next time.